busy morning this morning. I got breakfast going. We have a new schedule we've been trying out in our home and it's working. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. It's helping to keep them on track, giving them things to do while I get things done. So we start out the morning, breakfast every day on the table. I got one kiddo out doing chores, but it looks hey. like he actually, he's done now. Uh, another kiddo just got up. One kid is still sleeping and I just got a text from the grain guy. We're gonna go pick up our grain. We give our milk goats and our chickens and our ducks and our geese grain. We don't really give the goats a lot of grain right now because none of them are in milk, but we feed all the other animals the same grain. It's a local guy and it's fantastic. So we have to go pick that up. We gotta be there by 8.30, which isn't really that early for us, but since we have this new schedule, it kind of throws kinky things, but that's all right, it'll be fine. We're gonna eat breakfast and then get out the door. Look who woke no, up. Enough. Are you so sleepy? <laughs> so, last one finally woke up. I just got a text from my mom. She's actually gonna come pick up the kids, take my car and go get the grain for me. She takes the kids uh, one day a week for me so yeah. I can work and they can do more work more school work <coughs> I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna get started these guys are gonna finish up boys are gonna do the dishes and they all are going to start on their little schedule that they have Alfalfa mix. I'm saving this for winter time when they're actually pregnant. <laughs> are done the kids are still sleeping it is time to go inside I'm making smoothies for breakfast that was a request it's not that cold this morning I really don't like drinking smoothies in the winter because it makes me feel really cold uh, but that was what they wanted so I'm gonna take advantage of the warmer weather and by warmer I mean it's probably like I didn't see any frost so maybe it's like 34 <laughs> it's not it's not that cold but it's definitely not that warm um and it's still dark outside, but I actually like doing chores in the dark and in the cold weather. It's, even though it's a little harder because you have to haul your water and whatnot, um, I, it's just refreshing. I don't know. It just reminds me of walking to the school bus every morning, I guess. Um, I wanted to say that if you are buying boots for yourself for farming, don't go cheap. Boots are something you're going to be wearing in all the weather, all the time, every day, more than once a day, sometimes all day, make sure you get a really good pair of boots. I went cheap on these before these. I had mucks, which I loved. And the main difference, I mean, these have held up really well. I've had these for a couple years now. Um, but the, the main difference is I have that much of a gap 
between my leg and the boot and all the hay goes down in my boot and gets in my socks and it drives me crazy. So when you're buying a boot, make sure that it sucks up all the way to your calf or is at least as close to your calf as possible. Um, just because if you're doing chores every single day and you're doing this life every single day and, and this is your livelihood, get the right tool for the job because you don't need to be annoyed at super little tiny things like hay in your boots. That's really silly when this is an everyday thing. So I will be definitely buying a new pair of muck boots or some other type of boot that I probably will go to the store and try on because that was a problem. I ordered these online and instead of being like $120, they were like, I don't know, $80. Um, but that was, it was not worth it. <laughs> totally not worth it. So don't go super cheap, especially on your footwear, especially on your gloves. I also really like these deer skin gloves. They've held up super good. And if you guys know me, I go through pairs of gloves, like, um, candy. I don't mean to, I, <laughs> but I work hard on, and I'm hard on my tools. So, uh, these deer skin gloves are great. And then, um, I like insulated deer skin gloves for the winter time. But the only problem with those is that if they get wet, they get hard cause it's leather. So you have to be really careful. Um, so far, those are the two favorite things that I've found. Ha ha ha. Look at that. It's 32 degrees. I don't think you can see that. Well, it's 32. Pretty dang close. Oh, thank you. I'm going to open it. No, that's for work. It's not, it's nothing I said. You can open it. Yeah. I can package for my herbal business. <laughs> Kids like to open the packages. There you go. See? Oh, yeah, see, that's why I didn't want you to stab it all the way in. That's shade better. Okay, I'm gonna be with you in my messy kitchen. And the reason my kitchen is messy is because I'm teaching my kids a lesson. And I just wanted, I wasn't gonna show you, and I was like, no, somebody probably needs to hear this. It's okay if your kitchen's a little messy sometimes. And it's really okay if your kitchen is a little messy because you're teaching your kids a lesson. Because you're training your kids in the way that they should go. And sometimes that's pretty messy. So my kids didn't get their dishes done yesterday. We made a deal and every fiber of my being, I want to have my kitchen clean. I don't like waking up to a messy kitchen, but I know that if I take the easy way out and I get these dishes done, I'm making farmhouse teas, English breakfast right now. I'm cheating. I haven't been drinking very much caffeine, but today I'm going to have a cup of tea, a real cup of tea, not an herbal cup of tea, which is good. Don't get me wrong. I like herbal tea, but English breakfast with the cream, in it, not cream, milk. That is what they get wrong in American restaurants. They always serve you cream with black tea and that's just not right. You don't drink it with cream. Um, I'm gonna put you down. Log is hitting my feet with her ball. There she is. <laughs> it's very distracting. It is very easy to just do the job for them and let them off the hook. At least it is for me. I'm the nice parent. <laughs> I always have been that way and it's not a good thing you guys I'm telling you right now it it's actually better to be harder on your kids because they learn better lessons so and you know I grew up in a pretty tough life and it made me a better person it made me strong it made me be able to do hard things and there's something to be said for that this is what she does like every single morning. What do you have, Sammy? Do you love your ball? We're keeping a close eye on it. It's not even a dog toy. We're keeping a close eye on it because we don't want her to like get any of the red or the black pieces off of it. Hi, honey. Okay, it is officially seven o'clock. I've already done quite a bit of work. Hi, oh my gosh. <laughs> Answer emails. I've already worked out this morning. Ow! <laughs> Maybe it's a puppy. I did my chores and I'm waiting to make breakfast, so I'll just keep on working on my stuff. I recently switched my schedule around 
I always did my work, like my job work for my business in the afternoon after we did homeschool. And I realized that the thing that was always getting interrupted, especially for homeschool activities, was my work. And so <laughs> I function way better in the mornings. I'm totally a morning person. And so I switched it around. So now I'm doing my work in the mornings and my kids are doing other things in the mornings. And then in the afternoon, we do our homeschool and almost every day is, is um, the same. But on the days that the kids have activities, I just incorporate that into their homeschool. That makes so much more sense to me. It's going really great. So one kid's awake right now. The other kids are still sleeping and that's fine. I'm going to let them sleep. And this also helps them. They've always been such early risers until like, I don't know, six months ago. And they decided that they were going to sleep in it uh, suddenly for the first time in their life. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of this season because it's not going to last forever. They're not going to be late sleepers forever. And so I'm just going to let them sleep in and not worry about the fact that they're actually sleeping in. That's really, really nice. And I like my quiet time. So, you know, I realized I could actually sit down and drink this tea because I'm a little bit ahead of my morning schedule. Um, and our breakfast is going to be really simple this morning. So I need to think through what I'm going to do for the rest of the week. I am finishing up painting the shop, the shop that we've been working on. We've had so many donations. Um, in fact, basically the whole project got donated, which is incredible. So the build part is done and I've been working on cleaning it. I am really, really excited. I want to reveal it to you guys. Um, I did a little sneak peek on my social media. I think only on the Facebook account though, because, um, I'm still tweaking things around and I know I don't need it to be perfect, but I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm doing with the space yet. So other than working in it, you want to go outside? Um, maybe she'll run her energy off. It's almost time for her walk. That will help. Um, so I do want to finish up painting in that space before I do my unveiling to you guys, which I am so excited for. And then, um, and that's, I think that's almost done. I think I just have a teeny little bit more. And then after that, that part's finished. And then I know I need to finish my blog that I'm writing. It's almost done. And I'm trying to double up my work because I have someone coming in town, somebody special. And I really want to free up some time. So in order to do that, especially on the homestead, means you have to double up your workload if you want free time. So that's what I'm going to do this week as much as possible. I've already started. And um, I know I want to get out a newsletter. If you guys haven't signed up for that newsletter, I kind of changed things around a little bit. Um, I realized that I'm like a freakish planner and I love plans. And I love lists and I thought maybe you guys might find that helpful. So I'm posting on the newsletter and in the blogs, things that I'm researching at the time. Um, I'm posting in there like my learning method and I'm posting in there classes that I find really helpful for learning like homestead skills and stuff. I'm posting in there things like this farmhouse tea that I'm drinking that I absolutely love. Um, and I'm posting in there like my weekly meal plans. It's just what we're eating in our house. But I'm also putting recipes in where they Mom, apply. Stop for chasing me. <laughs> I do love that my kids love their animals. That's really sweet. So um, if you guys haven't signed up for the newsletter, I'll leave a link in the description for you. Um, and I'll leave a link for you for my favorite tea because it's so good. Um, this is seriously my favorite English breakfast that I've ever found. Um, <laughs> okay, I want to spend a few minutes with this guy before he does his dishes so we can eat breakfast. So we were just sitting here talking about um, his hands. Yeah. And because it gets cold out and then our weather is really dry and it's been really dry this year. Um, and And he was like... We should share my lotion that you make, Mom, with our friends yeah. on the channel. So, if you guys are interested, I won't do it in this video, but maybe in the next video, 
I can teach you guys how to make this lotion. It is amazing. Um, what do you think about it, Ben? I think that about it that it heals me and it heals other people and I like it a lot. Well, we didn't really share that one with other people. Only Andy. Yeah. Don't. Oh, she's going to eat the lid. So this lotion is um, really unique to make. It, it is an actual lotion, which means it goes bad. Um, so I will plan that out. So the next video, you, get, you guys can expect a lotion recipe if you're interested. And I will for sure put it in the next newsletter too. So Thursday is the newsletter day. That's when that's coming out every Thursday. And, um, so it won't be in this week's, but it could be in next week. So, um, we'll try to get that planned. D this. No, this. This. I. I. Pulls. We decided we would make some ginger snap cookies. Feeling so tired today. I it's just the new schedules. I actually wear me slept out. last night. You slept good. Oh, it's good. Cause I had a face mask. Oh, yeah. She got a new eye mask to wear at the time. So anyway, we thought it's we would purple. make some cookies, and have a nice little afternoon. She's about ready to head off to ballet, and we finished her homeschool. I finished my work for the day, although I have a lot more to do. Um, but we just needed a little break, so we're gonna make some cookies. Ulster. Why don't you grab the sugar? Here's the sugar. Can you put two of those in the sugar bowl? Yeah. I hope these cookies taste good. such a good puppy oh my goodness oh my goodness you have you got our zoomies oh what oh really what did i clean you oh no are you clean oh you are do you like to be clean no sorry <laughs> bad when I have to get the dog bath. We don't do this very often, but she's a white dog and she plays in the dirt with the with the kids and in the garden. <laughs> this is the best part of a puppy bath. What are you doing? Sammy, what are you doing? Hmm? Are you clean? What are you doing? Sammy? <laughs> <laughs> Puppy zoomies are the best. 